Hey, greetings, Internet. It's the amazing Fleck, and of course, Lucy the Cat, folks. Listen to that crowd, Lucy. Lucy the Cat. Happy Slack Off Sunday, everyone. Unfortunately, I didn't have any Slackline videos to offer today, like I was hoping to keep up with that whole theme of Slack Off Sunday. But thankfully, Slack Off is a double entendre. It could also mean to slack off or to play on a Slackline. And I did neither one of those today, in fact. Actually, it was quite busy. I managed to go out and visit some family up north. I visited an old friend up north as well, spent some time, had some pizza with them. Socially distanced, though, we kept far away. We did it safe, we did it right. Uh, but before doing all that, I had to go back to the store where I bought my laptop that I just posted about yesterday. I bought it right before the store closed, and I took it home, and I opened it up, got it out of the box, plugged it in, and nothing. There was no charge light at all. It wouldn't turn on. Fortunately, this particular store I went to has a 15-day return policy. You might already know which one I'm talking about. They give really, really good deals on a lot of computer products and accessories and tech stuff, all that sort of thing. Fortunately, they swapped it out immediately with no problems, no questions asked, and I got my new one. I already took it out of the box and opened it up, and I'm really happy with it so far. I haven't taken it for any real significant test drives, but it turns on, and that makes me very happy. We'll play with that a little bit later on, but I just finished my, my instructional video on how to pass. Passing is when you are contact juggling, and you move from one hand to the other. And there's different ways you can connect your hands together to do passes while you're contact juggling. This is the technique called the butterfly, as you may or may not know. And my instructional videos I release every Sunday teach you how to do various circus and flow arts. This right here, of course, as I already stated, is contact juggling. And the video we just did was all about how to pass from one hand to the other. And not just that, it also teaches you how to create your own passes. So you can use your own creativity, find all the different ways you can connect your hands in different, different ways. I give you all these variables and you play with them and you can just come up with a new pass for yourself. That's a lot of fun. It's pretty rewarding when you make up things on your own as you go along. So please check out my playlist here on my channel to figure out which tutorials will work for you. There's one on circus and flow arts, and then there's also a dedicated one specifically for the art of contact juggling, which is probably what I'm best known for in the circus and flow arts community. So yeah, it was a pretty busy day so far, and now I have to make my daily post, which is a pleasure to do. I've been looking forward to doing these posts every single day since I started this channel December 31st. So I, I technically filmed it December 31st, New Year's Eve, but I didn't post it until the next morning, so it was like 1.32 in the morning. I've been posting on YouTube since January 1st of this year, and I intend on making a post every single day of this year as well. So today was busy and yesterday was really busy also. Yesterday I went over to a relative's house and helped them demolish some walls in their basement. I talked about it in my previous daily video and how my laptop wouldn't take the video off the SD card fast enough, so that prompted me to go out and buy a new laptop. My other one's like 10 years old. It's still a pretty good one, but it doesn't really cut the mustard where I need it to cut the mustard, so to speak. So I finally have all the footage pulled off of the SD card and onto my machine, and now I can finally show you how I spent my day yesterday. After reviewing the footage, I discovered it wasn't really that exciting, so I decided to put a little bit of music to it that was epic, but also royalty free. But after going over the music selection with my manager here, Lucy and I decided we should go with the 1812 Overture by Chiefkovsky. I hope you enjoy. When I first got there, I realized that I was there a couple hours late. My brother already did a number on the big room in the basement, and there was only a little bit left. But that didn't stop me from being enthusiastic about doing some more demo work. It was a mixture of screws and nails that made it kind of difficult to pull off this drywall. Some of the drywall was replaced, and some of it was the original drywall when they first made the room. So I spent some time pulling out a bunch of different screws, locations. A lot of the screws had some glue on top of them. Made it a little more difficult to get the Phillips head inside. It was way too many screws. I think there was more than it was necessary to keep all this stuff together. But you know the old saying, they don't make them like they used to. This room was built to last, but it wasn't meant to last for too long with my brother on the case. And my 
notice we tried to take a baseball bat or a sledgehammer to this drywall earlier, but there was just no way we were going to knock it all out, so we had to unscrew all of it. This paneling was a big pain. We had to spend quite some time pulling off this paneling that was glued onto the drywall. There was no way we could just break it open. But here we go, my favorite part. Let the destruction begin. Something very satisfying about just smashing down a wall. Seems like I had some pent up aggression inside me. With each strike, I felt the structural integrity of the wall deteriorating until. I felt quite victorious. Very satisfying. If you get the chance to demolish any walls in your near future, I highly advise that you take the opportunity and enjoy every strike. But if you do, be responsible. Make sure you clean up after yourself. This is a public service announcement brought to you by The Amazing Flex. Well, there we have it. It was a busy weekend overall, and so far in this video we talked about my laptop woes, showed you a little bit about my contact juggling instructional video I just released earlier today, had some really fun demolishing some walls, and of course listening to some quality classical music. I mean, if this is entertainment, I don't know what is. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hey, now's your opportunity to do so. Can't hurt to give me a thumbs up either. Maybe I'm asking for too much. Maybe I should make better content before I start asking for too many more people to subscribe and thumbs up. Well, whatever better content is, I'm going to keep creating things, whether I like it or not, whether you like it or not. So if you subscribe, you're stuck with me. And if you don't subscribe, well, you have plenty of other ways to spend your time. And I hope you enjoy them very much. But if you keep coming back, like I hope you will, I will keep making more and more videos. So yeah, thank you everyone very much for tuning in. I talked your ear off enough today, I'm sure. So from the amazing Fleck and my manager, Lucy the Cat, who's currently sleeping, shh, we both want you to keep safe, be well, stay humble, peace.